What is up, everybody? This is Cody, a.k.a. DFS Prodigy, coming to you live to talk about the upcoming NBA DFS slate on Overlay DFS. Last night, we had a hell of a win. It's a pretty good one, to be honest with you. Always just one away, it feels like, because of scrub minutes. But, hey, money's money, and it is what it is. So let's dig into the September 5th slate. Um... I'm really liking the matchups on this slate that they pulled out on the table. I'm really feeling this. I'm feeling what I'm liking so far. So let's just start from the bottom, then we'll go up to the top. So I'm liking Jamal Green over Mason Plumley. Plumley's only going to get minutes in garbage time. Jermichael Green has actually gotten pretty consistent minutes, so I'm really liking Jermichael Green. Torrey Craig versus Robert Williams. I'm liking Robert Williams, but then again, be careful because they are, they, I mean, not are, but they did give Cantor about four to five minutes last game. So just kind of be careful with that one, but I'm leaning towards Robert Williams. Pat Bev versus Brad Wanamaker. That's a tough one to me. I'm kind of leaning towards the Pat Bev side, but then again, that's kind of, if he based on minutes because of Shaman playing more, Reggie Jackson playing more, and Pat Bebs is getting back in the groove of things. Speaking of the Clippers side, Reggie Jackson versus Shamit. That's another tough one because you, it's always risky trying to figure out who gets the minutes over those three players with Pat Bev, like I said, Reggie Jackson and Shamit. Gary Harris versus Monty Morris. Okay, so Harris is only out there for his defense. Yes, he is starting to get minutes, but Monte Morris has been the consistent player in this series. Or not in this series, but the last series. So I'm liking Monte Morris, but you be careful with that one. Powell versus Gasol. Okay, this is an easy one for me. I'm locking in Gasol because Powell has not played well at all during this series. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. So I'm locking Gasol. Zubak versus Harrell. Man, oh man, this matchup messed me up. So, Harold is only getting minutes in garbage time. And in the times that he's getting minutes not in garbage time, he's not productive. So, I'm leaning towards the Zubox side. And taking my risk once again with it. OG versus Grant. Give me OG all day, every day. Marcus Morris Sr. versus Michael Porter Jr. Porter Jr.'s minutes are so scattered one minute. One day he'll play 17, the next day he'll play over 30. And Marcus Morris had a hell of a game last game, so I'm liking Marcus Morris on his upside. Abaka versus the- Tice, that's another tough one to me. So be careful with that matchup because they're both playing pretty consistent and getting consistent minutes. Marcus Smart versus Lou Will, give you Marcus Smart in those guaranteed minutes, and he's been putting out- up outlier stats, so I'm liking it. Kimba Walker versus Jalen Brown. Give me Walker all day, every day. Lowry versus Van Fleet. Van Fleet has been playing really well, but then again, Kyle Lowry has stepped up in this series a lot. I'm kind of leaning towards the Kyle Lowry side. Paul George versus Pascal Siakam. Paul George looks like he's back in form and not George P anymore in the playoffs. (laughs) So I'm liking Paul George. Siakam has to look good this series. Okay, so now you have about the three-headed monster up top. You can go Jokic versus Murray. You can go Jokic versus Tatum. You can go Murray versus Tatum. The one that I'm really liking, to be honest with y'all, is Tatum versus Jokic. I think that's a better matchup to go to and an easier win, in my opinion, than Murray versus Jokic because they're both the focal point of the offense, and one of them's going to pop off, and I'm have a feeling it's going to be Murray. So I'm lucky Tatum versus Jokic. So now we just have the matchups down here. These are the matchups that are pretty tough to me, so just be careful with those. But if I had to lean on the side, it would be Tice, Morris, Jackson, Bev, if I had a, if I had to pick one. But then again, be careful with those. So that kind of gives you all a good start to the day. On overlay DFS light. Hit me up on Twitter if you'll have any questions. My article will be out later. 
Have a good one, everybody.